Welcome, people of planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and my family and I buy and sell things that we find at thrift stores, yard sales, garages, wherever we can find them, and sell them on platforms like eBay, Poshmark, and Macari to make our living. And these are our top finds this week. Let's get into it. So this week is a little bit limited overall, we didn't get, see a lot of great things, so it's a little bit subpar in my opinion, but there are some interesting things, and number one is really dope. So let's get into number five, right now we have this pair of jeans, uh, this is the vintage Kenny Rogers uh, women's jeans, uh, They I, I don't think they have a whole lot of value, I just thought they were cool, I don't ever, I rarely, I've actually never seen these in person before. But it says, says like embroidered here, the gambler. It's got a little bit of a lower rise than you would expect from a jean that's vintage. Uh, those appear that it's probably been hemmed, uh, but I think I can even release the hem. But we'll see. Um, they are pretty cool. They've got old Scoville zipper on here. Kenny Rogers on the button. Kenny Rogers by Carmen. So Carmen was the uh, the company that made these jeans. Uh, so interesting pair of jeans here. There's a bunch of them listed on eBay for all kinds of ridiculous prices. I doubt I'll get a whole lot for this, but I believe we only paid like a dollar fifty on like a sale day. Uh, so cool jean to have, just uh, it, even if it's just for the history. Next up, we have a pair of shoes, and these Doc Martens are number four uh, right here. They are a smaller size Doc Martin, but they are the uh, low cut boot leather, so high quality. They may even be vintage. I'm not sure. Uh, size five, so obviously a bit smaller, uh, but well made, great condition. Uh, lots of life left in these guys. Uh, these sell very well, typically. They're on the heavier side because those soles are really heavy. Uh, but they do sell well, uh, generally on eBay and Depop, stuff like that. So I uh, should probably get uh, close to 50, if not more than that, for these pairs of... At number three, another pair of shoes. And one of the best shoes you can find out there. And it's a pair of Hoka One One running shoes. Uh, these are men's size and large size. Size uh, 12... That says 2E, 0.2E. Anyway, they're big, they're large, probably wide, because they do seem very, very wide. Um, they're in great condition, just a little bit of, like a little bit of cracking on the side right here. Uh, but that's not, this pretty much just superficial. Otherwise, tons of life in the tread. Uh, these guys could potentially go from like 75 and up. Uh, these are very, very valuable and always a good buy if you find them in good condition at the thrift. You always want to double check that they're still, you know, the soles aren't super worn out. But if you find these in, in most re decent conditions, will sell well. Now at number two, we have this tee right here. This Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary tee. This would probably been 10 years afterwards, I think is when they did this. Uh, when they did like a remake or whatever. So it's like 2014. Uh, this t-shirt's great. It's a great size. Like an XL, does it say XL? Double XL, good size, great graphic, looks good. Halo tees, pretty much anything that's even like 10 years old, does super well. Um, even if it doesn't sell for a lot, it sells fast. So I could see $50 from this thing, uh, maybe less. I might, you know, it just depends. But uh, the the Master Chief right there, big on the, the logo or on the design, super good. Definitely a cool tee, definitely something that's going to sell well. Um, and just a dope tea all around. Now before we get to number one, just want to remind you that we have a live stream on Mondays at 7 p.m. where we open up uh, mystery bags of potentially dope vintage t-shirts. Uh, we're obviously not going to have one on 4th of July tomorrow, uh, so check back next week. We should have a bunch of bags to open up. We have found some bangers in the past. We've been finding some good stuff recently, and I'm going to have lots of bags to open up. So 7 p.m. on Mondays, come hang out with us, ask us questions. A lot of cool people there, uh, so hopefully you'll be there and you'll enjoy it. Now at number one, it's actually three items. Um, it's all three of these hats right here. We have a Detroit Tigers hat, we have a Red Wings, Detroit Red Wings, and we have a St. Louis Cardinals. And what's so special about these hats? Well, they are all vintage sports specialties. You can actually see here on the side of the Red Wings hat, you have the sports specialties logo. And sports specialties uh, was a really popular uh, hat company, made super high quality stuff in the 90s. Basically, they were like the official, official, so like when draft picks got their hats, they got you know, a sports specialties hat, or if they moved to a different team, they got a sports specialties hat. So sports specialties has been blowing up as of late. Um, some of them selling for hundreds, five, you know, three, four, five hundred dollars, even 
I think I even saw some that go for a thousand dollars. So crazy prices. These aren't probably any of the ones that go for a lot of money. This one uh, I've seen go for like between uh, 35 and 65. There are a lot that are listed much higher. Um, but these other ones, I'm not entirely sure. This this uh, this St. Louis hat's in really good condition. So maybe maybe a bit higher on that. Uh, but great hats right here. It's hard to find these sports specialties hats. Um, oftentimes the best ones are the ones with the scripts on them, so always be paying attention for that. Um, they will say sports specialties either on the inside uh, or somewhere on the tag. So these were number one this week. Really good find. Uh, I found them all the same place. It actually took me like three days. Uh, they sort of kind of came out progressively um, over the course of like three days, and I found all three of them. Super Dub hats, probably, you know, 35 plus for each, maybe more than that, but I paid a dollar for them each, so uh, really good ROI. Uh, dope hats, especially if you're one of the fans of these teams. All right, so that was the top 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy your holiday weekend celebrating our independence, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.